So how should one assess the contribution of Fali Nariman to the bar and judiciary? Joining me now, two very special guests, Justice Madan Lokun, former judge of the Supreme Court, and Indira Jaising, former additional solicitor general and one of the country's leading lawyers. Appreciate both of you joining us. The word which is being used by jurists across the country today is India has lost its Bhishma Pitama when it comes to the judiciary. Would you agree with that, Justice Lokur? What made Fali Nariman, according to you, such a towering figure? Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Rajdeep. But uh, first, let me uh, express my condolences to the family. Uh, you know, the country itself uh, has actually lost uh, a great, outstanding lawyer. Uh, in a sense, I would say that he was the conscience keeper, not only of the bar, but also of the judiciary. I think his contribution uh, to the uh, development of the law, uh, to understanding, you know, what is right and what is wrong uh, is, I think, phenomenal. Uh, all across, all across, whether it is lawyers or whether it is judges, all of them had great respect for him and uh, appreciated whatever he said. You know, I mean, he never said anything out of malice or anything. But uh, if he was unhappy, well, he expressed it politely, but firmly. And uh, I think everybody respected him for his views, uh, for his uh, character, for his integrity. Uh, well, just about everything that you can expect from a person. You know, because I, I recall my last two interviews with him. One was on the collegium system, one on Article 370. And at the age of, nine, uh, of 95, spoke clearly and eloquently, spoke his mind on these issues. But Indira Jaising... How will you remember him? He was also, of course, additional solicitor general and then resigns the day after uh, Indira Gandhi declares emergency. So to use what I heard just now from Justice Lokur, he was truly a conscience keeper. Yes. Uh, Rajdeep, I too would like to start by extending my condolences uh, to his family, his son, who went on to become a judge of the Supreme Court of India, his daughter-in-law, who was uh, present in his life, his daughter and her family. That being said, um, I would like to put on record that Pali, uh, as we knew him, was first and foremost a product of the Bombay High Court. He moved to Delhi in 1971. And as you point out, in 1975, uh, he resigned, um, which is a symbol of his abiding uh, commitment to democracy. Uh, in his later life, of course, he also exhibited a strong commitment to secularism, um, protesting against the manner in which minorities in this country were being discriminated against. But I would like to return to his uh, career as a Bombay lawyer. It, he belonged to a minority himself, and he always acknowledged the fact that this country gave him um, from a minority community the opportunity to reach the heights that any person could reach in this profession. As for his contribution to the to the judiciary and the legal profession, I think it was his firm insistence of the distinction and separation of powers between the executive and the judiciary. Single-handedly lobbied for and achieved that separation in the setting up of the collegium system. And he leaves behind him this heavy burden on our shoulders to ensure that this separation uh, remains in place for the benefit of mm -hmm. the ordinary citizen of the country.